Guys, we are about to do a head unit in one of the most deceiving cars because it you would think it is the easiest car to do a head unit on. It is not. It's not that hard. Done definitely done way harder. But you just look at it and you're like, you know, this is gonna be 30 seconds in out. No no. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it properly. Um, and that way there's probably a lot of people that have messed this up. So you won't mess it up, you will get it done. We are fitting a single din. Kenwood, uh, there it is. Kenwood bad boy, doesn't have Bluetooth, nothing like that, just a very basic unit. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into the install. Okay y'all, the almighty gets, have a look at that. So, what you would think is you just pop off this little bad boy here, put in the keys, slide it out, slide the new radio in, off you go. Uh, bum bum, no. Behind this is another cage. So you've actually got to remove this fascia all the way out, unscrew the cage, throw that in the trash, throw that in the trash, and then you can fit the new unit. So I'll show you how this is all done, but to get this bad boy out is, there's cables on the, both of these that run behind here and underneath there, and they've got to be removed. So let's start with that. So when you open the glove box, there's little tabs on either side. So they just pull out like that and then toward you and make it look hard with one hand. Yeah, I'm gonna need two, a basic, yeah. So they come out and out. Okay. Like that, and then just pull it through. Boom, that is all she wrote. Now, you don't have to remove it all the way, you just need to get it down. So what we need to do is start moving these around. Okay, so that doesn't move anything. Heater. Doesn't move anything. What about this? There we go. So what I'm going to do is squeeze that pin right there, as you can see it moving. And then, it's really hard with one hand, simultaneously pull on that. Done. That's released. So now when we pull the fascia out, this can come with it, uh, where is it, this can come with it, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not stuck on this and we're ripping the whole thing out. Okay, so on a right hand drive vehicle, we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna look up there, now I can already see one of those, and basically we're gonna be looking, that's the heater, I'm just controlling that now, and there'll be another one here. Might be further up, that's for the directional, um, the air direction. So this is going to be very difficult to film, but we're basically finding them. We set everything to one thing, so set that all the way to cold, set that all the way to air, move that. Okay, that's done, this is electric, so this is fine. Um, and now, exactly what we did there, we're just going to do down underneath here. With. All right, with a lot of hard work and patience, we have now removed both of them. And they're right there, and now they're ready to be pulled through. All right, now we've done the crap part, which was those aircon controls. Just make sure there's no extra screws. Now we can start using our plastic panel removal tool and pulling this out. So the first thing we have to do is pop this little bad boy out like that. If you've got radio keys, this will be 10 times easier. Okay, so the radio's out. Now most people get to here and think they're scot-free, but see this cage? That's gonna block you. That thing there, it's gotta come out. Um, power harness, universal antenna, steering wheel controls if you're doing them. So a lot of people get stuck on that too. This customer does, just wants cheap and easy. They don't want steering wheel control, so disregard that. And we just do powers and speakers, of course. Now we can start removing this. Okay. So panel removal at the top, a lot of pressure, pull back, and then same at the bottom. And now, this is gonna slide out nice and easy. It doesn't have to come all the way out, okay? We just need to get it out enough so we can undo two screws on either side and piss the cage off. That's what we needed to get rid of. 
Okay. Now, just have a quick look for any clips that might have got left behind. Pull them out. Now, because we didn't go too far back, everything in terms of those little things that we looked at are still in place. So we haven't ripped them out and have to try and rerun them. They're still where they're supposed to be. Um, so now all we have to do is the wiring side of things. All right, so we've got the harness to suit this vehicle. Now, if you're gonna buy it in Australia, the part number is APP085. So that just plugs in there. Then you can go ahead and get step two um, and then plug it in. Step two will go to ISO to whatever unit you're using. We're using a Kenwood and I'm just going to hardwire it, which I've done in many videos. Okay, so basically how this works is we chop the speaker plug, chop the power plug, and then just hardwire the, the Kenwood plug and it's just color to color. It's very easy. Um, so you've got purple, purple, black, and then your colors. And we've got everything um, and we can even use illumination because these single dins don't have illumination. So I'll get this harness made and we'll check back in. Okay, here is our loom done, looking awesome. So we can go ahead, plug that in the right way. Boom, tape up the plug we're not going to use. Now when you buy a single din unit, it's gonna come with a cage, like so. So all you need to do, slide that in, like so. Bend some of the pins. Okay, so there's one there. There's two, see how it stops it from sliding back out? Okay, so just bend a few of the pins around, so that'll stop the, that from sliding back out. And then all you literally have to do... Oh, by the way, if your unit has Bluetooth, run the microphone. Whoa, whoa that's close. Run the microphone. Alright. Plug that in. This is a no Bluetooth unit, so it's nice and easy. Plug in the antenna. So that's all we actually need for this install. And then what? Voila, done. So put everything back together, uh, clean it all up, and that's it. We'll do a little time lapse of putting it back together, but that is pretty much the install done. Um, I will grab the key. Home with mobile tie shop. Beautiful, done.